Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ali. Hope you're having a good time during the weekend. And in this video, we're going to talk about masks. Before I dive a little bit deeper into this, I really want to explain to you what masks are and what's the purpose of having it. Why is it even available in most video editing software and image editing software like Photoshop? So masks is basically a feature that allows you to hide specific portions of your elements and keep the rest of it visible or vice versa. So for this example, we have two similar characters here with a circular background. And the difference between both of them is that the one on the right side is masked, where you can see the full body of the character on the left side because it's not masked. And then because this one is masked, you can only see the upper part of the body and the bottom part of it is hidden. Let me show you another example. So in this example, we have a video clip of a whale and then I have a text layer on top of it. This is just to show you an example of unmasked, just, you know, two different layers, a video clip and a text on top of it. Next up, it's the same exact video clip and the same exact text that we have here. Now, the difference between the previous one and this one is that I have masked the video clip with my text. So it basically shows you that the video is playing inside of my text right so that's you know what it basically um, happens when you apply a mask to a text next up we have two images here of myself now the original image of myself is a square size and i basically turned it into a circular shape and what i did is i basically used you know a circle shape to mask it and make it look like a circular image instead. So basically what masks is all about is when I use this, this circle on top of my image layer, I basically want to show everything that's inside of the circle and everything that's outside of it is basically hidden, just like you can see here. So everything is inside the circle is visible to everyone. And what's outside of the circle is hidden to, to you. So you can only see you know, my image in circular shape. Now let's go ahead and start, you know, creating everything from scratch just to show you um, how you can easily do this. So what we're gonna, we're gonna do here is we'll start with the character and I'm gonna show you the steps to do so um, easily. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a circle and then I'm gonna change its color and make it purple. Maybe I need to scale it up a little and center it and then i'm going to go to my studio and pick my 3d character the sports guy here we go now remember you would like to have you know a background that shows underneath this guy so to do this now we're going to need to duplicate the layer of the circle that we uh created and what i'm going to do here is I need to get this circle, you know, on top of the guy, right? And keep this one underneath it. So because some has, you know, some have asked, why do we even use two circle layers um, to mask the character? Well, first of all, you're going to mask the character layer with one of the circles and keep the other one as a background. And I'm going to show you that in a second right now. So I'm going to select both layers and just keep the one at the bottom. I'm only going to select two layers, right click and then mask. So now you can see we have our character masked. So the bottom part of his body is hidden. And then we still have, you know, the circular shape as a background for this character. So if I move my character, you can see, you know, still the bottom part of his body is hidden because it's already masked with the circle. So I'm going to get it back to where it was. And there you go. You have a character popping up of a circle um, with a background. Let's uh, go ahead and create the second one just to delete this one. And I'll go ahead to my media and then I'm going to bring my video clip. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a text and call this Ali Mohammed. And I'll, I'm also going to go ahead and scale it up to make it, you know, so big across the scene like that, center it. And then I'm gonna shorten the clip size here on my timeline, select both. 
and then right click mask voila we have the video clip mask with my name so every time you play it you can see that the video is basically playing um in the background or playing underneath the text but what's visible is what's inside of this text now there's another thing that i want to talk about is um you know detaching and attaching masks so for this example we have the video clip already attached to my name here on the canvas so if i move my name across the scene you can see that my video clip is attached to it and it moves everywhere i move it to versus if i turn off um or i you know turn on the detach feature so if i turn the detach mask here on and i get to move my text you can see that the text is moving but the video clip is standstill where it is. Nothing is happening to it, right? So this is, you know, for you to understand the difference between, you know, attaching and detaching. Attaching is basically attaching the video clip. Just think of it as, you know, a couple that's moving together. But detaching is basically, you know, making both layers falling apart. So every, you know, layer moves um, on its own so i can move my video clip and i can move my text around you know without both of them being attached to each other so i'm going to turn this off the attach mask and then you can see here that my video clip is masked with my text now let's go ahead and delete this and show you the last example of my image so i'm going to grab it to the canvas i'm going to go ahead and resize it because it's you know pretty big center it like that so you can see here that it's square shape right and what i'm going to do is i need to change this to a circular shape so i'll go ahead and grab a shape and that would be a circle and i'm going to scale it up a little like that just to cover up you know my face and parts of the image and then what i'm going to do here in the timeline is i'm going to select both of them right click and mask and voila, now we have my image um, masked with a circle and it showed up as a circular um, shape. Now, the other thing I would like to you know, talk about is group masks. And let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the same um, image here of myself. I'm gonna resize it, center it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, oops. I need to grab a shape and I'll be a circular uh, shape. Scale it up like that. So just as just to help you understand, you know, what group masks is for and how you can play with it the way you want to. So what I'm gonna do first of all, is I'm gonna go ahead and select both layers right and then i'm going to create a masked group now what happens is when i created a master group for this image it basically set the boundaries for the shape of my image or the size of my image as a square so if i go inside of this group now you can see that the boundaries set for this image is um you know a square shape now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead inside of this group and i need to mask both layers and so you can see here that the boundaries are still the same this is just for you to you know to get some clarity of the group masking um so you can see here these are the boundaries you know and i only have my image in circular shape um inside of this and if i go to um but before i go to this now what i need to do is to add some animation to my image so i'm going to go ahead and click on add an animation choose position and maybe i need to zoom in a little and choose my first keyframe like that and then I'm, i need to get my image to move from the left side outside of the frame to the middle of the screen again so we have this set already let's go back to the main timeline and see here what happens here is that because we have a mass group and again remember we've already set the boundaries 
around the circle. So when you, when I play, you know, this back, it shows that the image is act actually disappearing on the canvas. It hasn't gone, you know, outside of my frame, you know, for the, for the landscape mode. Um, it's still where it is versus if I turn off the mask feature here, like that, you can see that the boundaries are going to be turned off. So what happens is that my image is going to move from the left to the right as normal without any problem. If I turn this back on again, so now I have set my boundaries and you can see the image is disappearing while it's inside the canvas. What if we would like to manipulate a background? Now, the problem is we are only allowed to mask shapes and we cannot mask backgrounds. But the good news is that there is a workaround. So let me go ahead and show you that. So I'm going to go ahead to my studio. I'm going to choose one of the backgrounds that I currently have. And let's say this is going to be um, maybe this one. And I'm going to expand it. And so the work the workaround here is to grab a shape. And that would be a circle, for example. I'm going to resize it like that. Center it. And then what I can do is I can select both layers, right click, mask. So now we have manipulated the background and we've turned it from a landscape mode into a circular shape. Now the next step is to go ahead and grab a character. So let's do that now and grab one of the characters that we have. Let's say that would be, that would be Tom. I'm going to resize him like that. And I also want to mask this guy. So in order for me to do that and, you know, mask my character and still keep him inside of the background, I'm going to go ahead and grab a shape and that would still be a circle, but I need to make sure that the circle is the same size of the background. So I'm going to try to do that as much as I can. Just like that. And then what I can do is I can select both layers in the timeline, right click, mask, and now we have my character mask. So I can position him in the right place. And you can see that we have our character, you know, uh, masked as well as our background. And what I can do is I can, you know, play with my character. I can, you know, get him to wave like he's doing right now or I can change the animation from the motion presets that we already have. So that's basically a workaround where you can manipulate, you know, backgrounds and mask them um, since we're only allowed to mask shapes. Hope this is helpful. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.